Welcome back guys. Today we are going to look at Z Image Turbo in Comfy UI. Tonji Mai released this Z Image Turbo. This is a distilled version of Z Image that matches or exceeds the leading competitors with only 8 NFE number of function evaluations. We are going to test this out on Comfy UI and we're going to use some GPUs from RunPods. I'm going to show you how to set everything up but you can see the quality is perfect. The prompt following a prompt adherence is really good and it's really fast. Uh, in this GPU it takes about 18 seconds but if you take good GPU, a better GPU than this, it should run faster as well which we will go and see in some time. It offers sub-second inference latency on enterprise grade H800 GPUs. It fits on 16 GB VRAM consumer devices as well. It excels in photorealistic image generation bilingual text rendering and english and chinese here so we have three models z image turbo base and edit as of now we have the z image turbo which is out so you can see here we have the checkpoints uploaded on hugging face and model scope as well now you can see some examples here photorealistic image strong photorealistic generation when while maintaining excellent aesthetic quality really good bilingual text rendering so english and chinese here prompt enhancement and reasoning so given the inputs and rabbits in the same cage total of 35 heads so you can do math as well creative image editing so z image edit which is not yet released as of now but we'll go ahead and test this later but in this video let's go ahead and test out the available one which is the z image turbo now with regards to uh, the elo scores you can see that text to image model elo score here you can see that z image which is an open source model it scores pretty good on the elo score and it compares it's better than the other closed source models and other open source models so it stands on number four but that's the benchmark but you can go ahead and test this out using diffusers as well but in this video i'm going to show you how to use comfy ui let's go ahead and try this out on comfy ui so you can go ahead to this github page of comfy ui but before that let's go ahead and try some of the examples so this is these are the different examples that you see uh, some magazine like structure i've given some awesome prompts from chat gpt and let's Let's put this and see the speed here. So let's run this. A surreal portrait of a teenage boy riding a bicycle, floating above city mid roof, clouds drifting between buildings, calm expression, dreamlike logic, soft pastel sky, painterly lighting, slightly blurred edges, magical realism, cinematic white shots, and 8K. So you can see this image, it's really amazing. Let's try out another one. So macro photography, let's see. If this excels in photography. So I'm gonna run this. I can see the quality is really good, it's really fast, that's what I like. There are many closed source models which you can use but again those are paid versions. You can, uh, let's make this one, comes, let's see, it's a Japanese photography portrait of a beautiful, so really, this is amazing. If you would like to run this, let's go ahead and uh, do the settings on how to get started. This could be considered as a 101 guide on how to get started with Comfy UI on RunPods. First of all, you need to go to this page of GitHub where we have the installation instructions of Comfy UI. And then we go to RunPod. You can use this link. Uh, you can use get.runpod.io slash PE to get started with RunPod. This is going to give you a bonus of $5 to $500 when you spend your first $10 on RunPod. So go ahead and claim your bonus here. Use my link, uh, which is this link again, get.runpod.io slash PE. PE48 which is prompt engineer 48 so let's get started once you are logged in and added some credits let's say ten dollars you're gonna have some bonus so let's say five dollar bonus you're gonna have fifteen dollars here then you're gonna go to pods here and you can click on deploy and you can see there are different pods that you can use you can use this h200 which is three dollars three point five dollars per hour but we don't need such a big one you can use a smaller one let's say let's go with this one rtx a6000 which is 0.49 dollars per hour I click on this i edit the template I increase the disk size because why not and then we're gonna add uh, basically we're gonna add some ports here I'm gonna add 8188 this is really important 8888 is a Jupyter notebook and 8188 will be an HTTP service which will run the Comfy UI or HTTP port that is going to run the Comfy UI I'm gonna click on set overrides and then I'm gonna click on deploy on demand I can see that RTX A6000 is being made ready for you so you can click on logs and you can see that the different things are being downloaded it and your pod is being made ready so this is my pod so this is another one which is running a40 uh, which is where i'm running these examples let's go ahead and start with the fresh one basically i will show you how to set everything up so once this is ready 
uh, you can click on connect and you can see that all these http services which are not yet ready because we have not started any services as of now uh we just need the http service this one 8188 uh, we can click on jupyter lab which is ready now so you can click on jupyter lab which is running on port double eight double eight okay so we have the jupyter notebook here you can click on a terminal here and once you click on terminal you will have a beautiful terminal here first thing that we need to do is say apt get update and apt get upgrade so once you do this this is going to update and upgrade you can go to the z image you can go to this link z image comfy workflow here you can see that again the same things are written by alibaba's donji lab and uh, you can go ahead and download this json workflow file here i can right click and save as z image z image dot json file so this is a json file that we are going to use in the comfy ui next what we're going to do is you can see that this is getting updated i'm going to go to a new terminal here and then i'm going to go to comfy ui here github guide click on this link copy the clipboard and say git clone so we clone this repo here another thing that you need to do is because we are in nvidia gpus what you need to do is we need to run these commands as well so i'm gonna go ahead and say pip install torch torch vision torch audio then we have this pytorch from org from the source file so you can run this as well this is already satisfied you can go ahead and run the next one as well and this is also satisfied so you can see that comfy ui is downloaded so you can change the folder like a comfy ui and after that you can run this installation so pip install dash r requirements.txt because in this comfy ui you have this requirements file so just run this requirement file this is going to install all the requirements required for comfy ui if you do these steps you'll get the fresh version and the latest version of comfy ui it's really amazing so our updates is also complete you can close this now and this comfy ui is running you can see that the installations are done and we need to run this main.py file so what you can do is i can say python main dot py file i'm going to use the port of 8188 and i'm going to need to enter this parameters as well otherwise it won't work i want to listen to the i'm going to listen to everything otherwise if you don't put listen it's going to run on the local host of comfy ui which you won't be able to access from outside but when you say listen it listens to everything now it's running on port 8188 you can see that in the http service they should get on so it's ready now you can click on this http service this is going to start up the service and the service that is running as you can see here it's the comfy ui okay so if you go to that http service this is a pod id that we have this is HTTP service so i can even share this link to you and you can use my gpu of course i need to keep the gpu running here then you'll be able to use this so right away you can see that we have this <coughs> new template here z image turbo text to image you can click this but again i'm going to show you how to start from the start from the basics so i'm going to close this and basically you can see that this is a workflow we need to add that json file that we downloaded so it's z image json file you can just click on here or drag to here and then you will be greeted with this things that we have some missing models we need to put the models so we need to download this 7.49 gb file just copy the url i need to put it in the text encoders folder i can go ahead to the jupyter lab again and uh, if i open up a new tab here and you can see that uh, in the models folder we have this text encoders we need to paste uh, we need to download this file in the text encoders folder so we copy this link and then we go to text encoders here and then we are going to start up a new terminal so when you start up a new terminal here what happens is that if you do pwd or present working directory you can see that we opened up in this directory itself desk text encoder itself i'm going to say wget and paste in the link that we copied earlier this is going to start pulling that 7.5 gb file here let's open up a new tab let's go back to the models here and then let's see what's missing we have on the vae folder we need to download this so copy this and go to the vae folder here and then open up a new terminal here and again just like before you don't have to manually change the directory if you say pwd we are here so comfy ui models vae i say wget and paste in the link this is going to to run and download this 320 uh, megabyte file that's done you can go back to the models and you can see that in the diffusion models we need to download this model so copy the url go to diffusion models here and then open up a new terminal here when you open up a new terminal you know you can run pwd there's a present working directory you can say wget i'm going to paste the link this is going to download the 11 gb file here okay so there are three files which are being downloaded see 7.5 gb file 
and this is the saved tensor file the quen 3 4 billion is done the va file is also done and this is being downloaded the 11 gb file which is the diffusion model while this is downloading we can go back to the workflow and you can just close this now so you can see this is the workflow it's pretty simple i just put in the prompts here and we have the image height and weight we have the number of steps uh, four is the default here with cfg of one you can put in random seed so after generate you can randomize and then you're going to use the unit of this the image turbo that we have downloaded i'm going to use va this one and the clip of this so everything is loaded here once you have the models loaded on the appropriate folder then you will be able to run this so this is done let's go ahead and run this so i can click on run here now the first instance this will take some time because it's going to load up the models all the models into its memory so you can click on this queue as well uh, this will give you so you can see this is the output here it's really amazing you can go ahead and check for other examples so let's take uh, this one put in the example here and run this so it's cinematic film poster of a thoughtful 16 year old japanese girl and for the second time you can see it's just 17 seconds you can see the output between stations some difficulty in rendering of text but again the photo quality is really amazing go ahead and try this example okay run so latina female with thick wavy hair sun kissed skin now this took about 17 seconds really amazing prompt following is wonderful now you can go ahead and test this out so you can see how we have made this service running on runpod again you can go to my runpod link get.runpod.io slash p and try these examples you can try other examples as well if you go to this template you can see so many different examples that you can try flux to a dev uh, you can try the Punyan video and there are so many different templates basically the same thing you just click this it will load up the template then you need to download all the models and put it in the appropriate folders here and and in this way you can load up your own workflow in just a few seconds so in this video we reviewed z image turbo so waiting for the other models which is z image base and z image edit that will be interesting to edit images so you can see the quality again it's really amazing so this is the one that i was talking about the edit feature will be really interesting to test it out so wait for the next video and i will see you in this next one have a nice day oh and before going Going, there is one more important thing that I'd like to say is you go to run pods and stop this thing. So stop the pod and uh, you're going to stop the pod as well. If you don't stop the pod, again, there will be cost incurring. If you want to keep this like this, keep, keep with all the settings, you're going to incur a cost of $0.06 per hour. If you don't want to set this up again, you can leave it like this, but can't always terminate the pod and start afresh because it doesn't take much time, especially with the good instructions that I've given you. So go ahead and test this out, test out this models, test out other models. I'll see you in the next one. Have a nice day.